Hello guys, we will continue our video lecture series on the digestive system. Today we will discuss about the hindgut development. Development of hindgut. We will discuss about the development of hindgut. Hindgut uh, starts from the one third of transverse colon till the uh, till the anal canal. The specific anal canal, upper one, uh, upper half of the anal canal. It is the our hindgut. The blood supply to the hindgut is by the inferior mesenteric arteries. Now we will discuss about the derivatives of hindgut. That are uh, transverse colon, one third of transverse colon, uh, left colic uh, flexure, the, the descending colon, our sigmoid colon, uh, our rectum, upper one third of anal canal, and the last primitive erogenital uh, sinus and their derivatives. Atlantic, uh, the reticulum open in, opens in the ventral aspect. Basically, alanitic uh, is the outpouching uh, outpouching of the yolk sac uh, from the caudal side. Our hindgut uh, caudal part attached to alanitic diverticulum that uh, we call as uh, colica. Mesenchymal condensation occur due to this mesenchymal and uh, condensations. Uh, urorectal septum divides into two parts: primitive urogenital sinus. Uh, and our uh, primitive rectum. The primitive urogenital sinus uh, is on the ventral part and the primitive rectum on dorsal part. We have uh, two types of uh, division of uh, urorectal septum. First one was the into the urogenital sinus and primitive rectum. The second division uh, of the uh, urorectal septum that also divide the colloquial membrane into two parts. One is uh, urogenital membrane and the second is our anal membrane. The anal membrane along with the mesodrum, it's heaped up like it's collect with mesodrum which uh, later form the anal pit. Anal canal development. The anal canal develops uh, derived from two sources. One is our colaca, uh, which is the part of endodrum and the second is our anal pit which is part of the ectodrum. And the junction between these two are represented by the pectate line of the anal canal. And the blood supply to these two uh, drive sources are different. Blood supply to these two parts are different from uh, two different arteries because the colaca is the part of endodrum and the anal pit is uh, the part of ectodrum. The colaca is supplied by the superior rectal artery while the anal pit is supplied by the inferior rectal artery. Respectively, as we know, the transverse colon, uh, the right, uh, first right uh, two third is the part of midgut. So this is supplied by the superior mesenteric artery, uh, and the le uh, after this, the left one third, uh, one third of the transverse colon and the uh, sigmoid colon and rectum are supplied by the inferior mesenteric artery. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.